Hey, what's going on? My name is Tyson Bailey. I'm the founder and CEO at Trend Advisor, where we specialize in helping life insurance and financial professionals create and implement digital marketing systems. So a lot of that has to do with starting on social media, having a good social media presence, making sure that that social media profile is set up to be a lead generating asset for you and for your business. Now, with a lot of the platforms out there like LinkedIn, like Facebook, the first thing that a lot of prospects are gonna look at is your cover photo. It's the first thing that pops up nice and big at the top of the screen. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly create a professional looking cover photo without needing to become a graphic designer, without needing to go learn things like Photoshop, without needing to go out and try to vet the right freelancer and hopefully not get screwed in the process. So that being said, let's go through my profile specifically. You'll notice that in this cover photo right here, great picture of my family, but a couple of things are wrong with it. Number one, my head at the top here is cut off. Number two, there's nothing really inside of here that helps somebody understand who I am, what I do, how I can help them. So that's the first thing that I wanna fix. Now, when it comes to creating that profile, uh, the cover photo, one of the places that I love to go for nice, quick, easy, professional looking graphic uh, design things, graphic design needs like a cover photo, is canva.com. Canva has a free account that is very robust. They've got paid accounts that are very inexpensive, but get you a lot of stock videos, stock images, um, stock audio that you can use. And so I highly recommend going to canva.com and checking it out. But the biggest thing that I like about Canva is that when you go through and you need to create something like a uh, presentation or an Instagram post or a Facebook cover photo, a LinkedIn cover photo, is that Canva has templates that they give you that you can just quickly customize, download, and put on your social media profile, and they will give you the right um, dimensions that you need for that specific asset. So when I get into Canva, I'm gonna go to the top right here and click create a design, and from there, I'm gonna go ahead and type in Facebook right here. I could type in if I needed to. I could do LinkedIn. You'll see that it pops up a bunch of things for LinkedIn. If I wanna do Instagram, it would pop up a bunch of stuff for Instagram, but for Facebook specifically, I'm gonna click on, or I'm gonna type in Facebook, and then towards the, the third option here, it says Facebook cover, and you'll notice that as I hover on that, it gives me that aspect ratio, the dimensions that I'm looking for, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and it's gonna automatically create the right size and style of canvas that I, I'm needing to put together. So, number one is this canvas is currently blank, obviously, right? But over here on the left-hand side, there's a function called templates, and I can go ahead and I can start looking for a template specific to me and specific to my industry. So me being a marketing um, specialist and our company specializes in marketing for life insurance and financial advisors, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in marketing. And you'll notice that it populates a number of different styles, number of different templates, color schemes that I can choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look for something that is specific or that, that really speaks to me, right? It speaks to maybe it's the color scheme, maybe the style that I like. So let's go through and I'm gonna click on this one right here. Just click on it, boom, automatically populates what I'm looking for on that side. And so you'll notice a couple of different things. It's got the stock uh, text that's inside of here, some lorem ipsum stuff, um, places where I can put in my website, images. And as I'm going through, I can start customizing this to my brand, to me, and to my business. So. Number one, um, let's go ahead and let's tackle this image right here. One of the things that a lot of people don't realize when creating that cover photo is notice that this image right here, it is in the right dimensions. You'll see that this is the right size uh, picture that I would need for my cover photo. But when somebody goes and looks at my profile and they don't just click on that cover photo, is that it cuts off my head at the top, cuts off the feet down below. And so that's something that I wanna look at. now. Currently, as I'm recording this video, the dimension that you wanna have so that everything fits inside of what somebody's gonna look at right away is about 600 pixels tall. So the best way to do that that I've found is that when you have something like this, you've got some asset inside of your cover photo that you're creating, is you can use that as the barometer or as the scale um, to judge the rest of your uh, image off of. So, Right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start resizing it. And over to the right, you'll notice that it changes the width and the height that I'm looking at. So if I go from here and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make this, again, 600 pixels tall. I'm gonna stop right there. The dimension is about, you saw that, it was about 600 tall. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to move this over to the right because I wanna make sure that I have room for text over here on the left-hand side. So one of the things that I also like is that with this picture specifically, if I wanna have this, right in the middle of my screen, there's a couple of ways that I can do that. 
Number one is I can go ahead and I can move this around and you'll notice different lines pop up and it tells me where I'm at in relation, uh, relation to other things. But let's say that I, I, it's, I'm having a hard time finding that center of the screen or that middle of the screen. So maybe I'm stuck right here. What I can do is make sure that I've clicked on that, hit position, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on middle right here. So we go through, we click middle, and you see that it automatically brings it up to the middle of the page. And then from there, I can go ahead and just move this over to wherever I need to, right? So I'm gonna move that there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna resize a couple of these images because I want them to be a little bit thinner based on where I moved my picture make sure that I've got them where I want to. So you'll see it's very intuitive, very easy drag and drop. And now let's focus on the text that I wanna have inside of my cover photo. When I have a prospect hit my cover photo, I want them to quickly, without thinking, without needing to search around, understand exactly who I am, what I specialize in, and how I can help them. So with me, specifically in our company, we're gonna say digital marketing. Oh, and then I'm gonna say, let's, let's resize that a little bit so it all fits. And then in this one, I'm gonna say systems. Digital marketing systems. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that it doesn't distract from the rest of what I'm putting together. So I can go ahead and I can move these things around to wherever I want to. now. Remember that I said it's something that like we want to make sure that when somebody clicks on our profile, they like we're not having that cover photo cut off in any way. So remember, this is where this is what I'm using as a reference for that 600 um, pixel tall um, space that I want to stay inside of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of these and I'm going to move this around so that it just so that I'm going to the top of or close to the top of where that circle is over on the right hand side. So as I move it around, you see that that dotted line pops up. I'm gonna drop that there, maybe bring it down just a little bit just in case, but then I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, redesigning the rest of my cover photo. Now, again, what I love about this is it's completely up to me and how I do this. It already looks very professional based on the template, but now I can just customize it to me specifically. So let's say that I don't wanna include the word agency here. Let's say that I want to, instead of this stock image that's inside of here, Let's, let's go ahead and use that, that image of my family, right? So over here on the left-hand side, I can go ahead and click on uploads. I can upload media inside of there. For me, I've already uploaded the image of my family to the um, inside of Canva, inside of my account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that, drag it over, and drop it inside of that, um, that template over here on the right-hand side. One of the things that I can do is you'll notice that if I want to put it as the background, I just drag and put it over here. I wanna have it inside of here. That's what I just did a moment ago. But it's a very easy way for me to be able to put the right elements inside of here that are still tied to me specifically. Now I'm gonna go inside of here. I'm gonna move this around a little bit. I just double clicked on it so that I can, um, so that I can just readjust the image inside of that frame. This says digital marketing systems. Let me go ahead and bring this down. I really like those dots. Let's have those dots actually be at the top of um, what I have here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete this. And you'll notice that I can just move around a ton of different things here to make sure that this fits with my company specifically. Now, I went ahead and I actually um, have gone through and I've created a cover photo that uses that exact same template and has a few different things inside of here that are specific to me and to my company. So what I did here is I just adjusted some of the text that's in the middle. And so instead of this text here, I went ahead and I put in uh, something that's specific to me, almost like an elevator pitch. So this, when somebody looks at this, if you are a life insurance professional or you're a financial professional and you need help with marketing, you know exactly what I can help you do, right? Another thing that I did is I wanted to make sure that there was a call to action inside of this as well. So instead of this, um, this over here saying join now or just having my website down below, what I let them know is like, hey, if you wanna see a step-by-step -step case study um, in terms of what we do, how we can help you, go check out my bio, that's exactly where it is, okay? So using this aspect ratio, using this canvas, I was able to move things around and personalize it to me and to my company. Now from there, I can just go up to the top and I'm gonna save this as, let's say, Tyson Facebook cover photo. And then from there, I can just hit share. I'm gonna go ahead and click download. And from here, I can uh, download this directly onto my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click download. You'll see that it automatically starts. 
And from there, I can just hop right back over to my social media profile, which in this case is Facebook. And I'm gonna hit edit cover, upload a photo. Let's go ahead and let this load. I'll just double click on that and let's see what this does. All right, so you'll notice that, boom, we are ready to go right there. If we wanted to, we can come down a little bit. We can see where we might need to resize things, but that looks pretty good, right? I think that's something that, um, I think I'm comfortable with where that is and we are good to go. So the next thing that I wanna show you after I click save changes, we're gonna let that load real quick. All right, we're set, we're ready to go. The next thing that I wanna show you is how to adjust this if you're going to create a secondary, um, if you, let's say you want to take that same style and move it over onto a different platform like LinkedIn. Again, this is where something like Canva comes in handy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is over here in the top left, it says resize. Now from there, I can either customize exactly the, um, the size that I wanna use, or I can go ahead and type in what I'm looking for. So let's say we're looking for LinkedIn. So I type in LinkedIn, a few things come up. Now LinkedIn, they don't call it cover photo, they call it a banner, okay? So there are a couple of different banners here. One is gonna be for your business, one is gonna be for your personal profile. So the best way to understand which is which is to simply Google the current size that you need to be looking for for that particular image, okay? It changes year to year, it changes when different uh, social media platforms decide to update things. So based on you know the, the specialization that we have, I know that this aspect ratio right here is the one that I wanna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, make sure it's checked, and then I'm gonna hit copy and resize. So what that's gonna do is it's going to create a new file. Again, we have the same uh, elements inside of here, the same um, uh, graphics, the same style, but now it is in a canvas that is specific to LinkedIn. So from here, I can go ahead and I can start adjusting things to wherever I need to. Now LinkedIn, uh, here's something that's really good to know, is that um, when you, when currently, when somebody looks at your LinkedIn profile, you're gonna have your profile photo. Look here on Facebook, you'll see that, see how this little uh, profile photo kind of bleeds into the cover photo? That happens on LinkedIn, the same thing. So if I'm going to look at my LinkedIn cover photo and my LinkedIn profile, you'll notice that my profile uh, photo right here bleeds into the cover photo. So you just wanna be aware of that so you're not trying to have you know things that are important that are gonna be hidden behind your profile photo. So as I go through and as I start to customize this, I can start moving things around that are gonna be based on where I want people's attention to be drawn to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight everything. Oh, let me do that again. Highlight everything over here on the right hand side. I wanna bring that over to the edge so that that's not the primary focus. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger because it's still important to me. It's something that is personalized to me specifically. And now this is where I can go through and I can start adjusting this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start, you know, number one, I wanna make sure that this is centered. So I'm gonna go ahead and center this. I'm gonna make it bigger. All right, now let's say that I wanna have this directly in the center of my uh, profile photo. I can hit position, I can hit center, and that's where it's gonna automatically place it. Now, to me, that might look a little bit off right now just because it's, you know, everything's a little bit funky. It's there's less on the left-hand side than the right-hand side. So maybe I wanna move it over just a little bit. So it's almost centered in between these two um, assets over here on the left and this one on the right. And then from there, I wanna make this bigger as well. So this step-by-step -step case study link in bio, um, I can either leave that in there, I can um, you know, change it so it just says link in bio or something like that. For, the, for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as is, put that a little bit lower. And now let's say that I want to change this around a little bit. One of the coolest things about this is the ease that you have in adjusting things. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the color of this. So let's say, here's a, here's a color that is part of my document, but eh, I wanna make it a little bit darker. So let's go ahead and just drag that around. That's a good color right about, let's say right there. Let's go ahead and we still wanna change this a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that the whole text box is highlighted. I'm gonna press effects. And let's say that I wanna give those uh, letters a little bit of a lift. Now that's a little bit too much, but let's say I still wanna make it look a little bit bold. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a slight lift over there, maybe a little bit less. 
from here, the step-by-step, -step, I wanna make sure that that, it has a little bit of a lift, which it looks like it is in there right now. Perfect, all right. So that's how you're able to go ahead and create a quick professional looking cover photo. From there, maybe I wanna go ahead and I wanna download that, I wanna add that to my profile. But that being said, that is how easy it can be to create that professional looking cover photo. If you have any questions, I'll have a link down below where you can ask those questions, where you can reach out to those. But let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys soon.